Dominica's House Speaker Alex Boyd Knights is set to become Dominica's first ever female head of state, but the opposition is not happy with her nomination. The Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has confirmed that his administration has put forward the Speaker's name to replace President Eloid Williams, whose term expires in October. President Williams had been appointed last year to complete the unfinished term of President Nicholas Liverpool. But the main opposition, United Workers' Party, did not support President Williams' election, taking the matter all the way to court. Now, in his first week as the newly elected UWP leader, Lennox Linton is calling on Dominicans to take to the streets to protest the possible elevation of Boyd Knights to a largely ceremonial post. He's citing her track record in Parliament as Speaker. Lennox Linton now joins us live on the line to Rosso. Good evening, Mr. Linton. Good evening, Julius. How are you? Fine. Could you give me some detail as to why you're adopting this position regarding Alex Boyd Knight and whether you really think Dominicans will heed your call? Well, I believe the people of Dominica are under a moral obligation to ensure massive island-wide protests of this assault on their legitimate expectations of higher levels of decency and civility in our public affairs. The president of the country, ceremonial though the position may be, is the chief custodian of the Constitution. This is a democracy of the people, by the people, for the people. As such, the president is expected to function above the political fray, and he's expected to serve the public interest of fairness and equity at the highest standards of moral conduct and professional procedure. Now, given the crucial nationality to select the president, Roosevelt Skerritt and his cabinet have decided on the one person who has spent the last 14 years as Speaker of the Parliament demonstrating exactly why she is far and away the most atrocious choice for the office of president at this time. But if those are the, the requirements for being uh, president of Dominica, of the Commonwealth of Dominica, decency, fairness, equity, surely those are similar requirements to being House Speaker. 14 years in that position, uh, shouldn't the UWP have challenged her continued status as House the, Speaker, given the, what you're the saying? Record, the record of the United Workers' Party's challenge to Alex Boyd Knight as Speaker is well known. It is all around the country, which is why there's a growing sense of outrage all around the country that having spent the last 14 years as Speaker, unrelenting in her antagonism, her hostility, her bias, and her injustice to the members of the Opposition United Workers' Party, in, in, in a, a, a characteristic, disgraceful display of partisan politics, the people are alarmed that she can be elevated now to the position of President where she's required to show balance, she's required to show fairness, she's required to show an ability to stay above the political fray, which is exactly what she has not done for 14 long years. You've, also been, you've also been very clear in this on your talk show and in your public comments. Now you're the leader of a political party, a very different thing from a lifetime in the media. What would you say to the critics who might suggest that you're really offering nothing new to Dominican politics, though you're a new face on the political scene, and that your first bid should be to directly challenge the man who says he will call a general election anytime soon, Roosevelt Skerritt. Well, no, but, but understand clearly, Julius, that the people have a responsibility to put this decision of Roosevelt Skerritt in context, in the context of his lack of suitability for public office in Dominica. If all he can tell us about the important position of president over the 14 years that he's been in government and the 10 years that he's served as prime minister, if all he has learned about the important office of president is that he can place it in the hands of the most cantankerous and divisive parliamentary operative in the history of this country, then it tells us that he is thoroughly unsuitable for public office in this country. And was, given your, was, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, we must move on very briefly, but given your own background in media, never having run for political office before, never having held political office before, what then should qualify you to lead the main opposition party in Dominica as what you would consider to be a critical time against, you have to say, a highly popular prime minister who has not yet debated any of your predecessors? 
Well, you're asking me a very different question. No, we've moved away from the Alex Boyd next story, have we? Well, I, you're making the suggestion that it's all the same thing. You're challenging uh, the leadership of Roosevelt, Skerritt. You are now uh, leading this new party. This is your first political act as leader of the United Workers' Party. The question it is, is what qualifies you to lead? It's an important first, Julius, because we are in a campaign for the good governance of the Commonwealth of Dominica. We are in a campaign for the advancement of our civility and the advancement of the affairs around the globe. And we, you, I'm a novice. I've not contested politi um, pol for political office before. I'm going to be doing it for the first time at the next election. I find myself with the responsibility of leading a political party. And it's a very humbling experience, but it's a very exciting experience, a very exciting challenge. And I'm, and, and I'm endeavoring my very best to rise to the occasion. The people of Dominica and, and those who support the United Workers' Party and those who do not approve of what has been going on in the governance of Dominica for the past 14 years have placed their confidence in me to provide leadership for an organization that hopefully will enter government and do much better in the governance affairs of this country, and that's all I stand for. All right, we'll have to leave it there for the moment. Many thanks, you, uh, Leonard Slinton, the newly elected uh, leader of the United Workers Party, challenging the uh, nomination by the Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt of the Speaker of the House, Alex Boyd Knights, to be the new president of the Commonwealth of Dominica. And ahead.